Assignments are not about judging and comparing with other people. It's about this process of unfolding. So what's your assignment? What's the one thing you and only you, you're the one person in the world that is meant to do? Hey everybody, Randy Gage and I want to welcome you to another episode here of Prosperity TV and explore this whole issue of assignments. In the last video I told you it's assignments plural because I think that's the, the pathway to enlightenment the pathway to discovering our purpose is we get an assignment, we accomplish it, we move on to the next assignment and the next assignment. Now, when you look at this, I think one of the natural human inclinations is, and this is a worthiness issue, which we see when we deal with issues of prosperity all the time, but it's gonna be very easy for you to look at Martin Luther King and Buddha, and Mother Teresa, or Jesus, or Sai Baba, or whoever, say, wow, they have this, they did this amazing spiritual noble assignment, and they, 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 they had such a higher calling and such a higher purpose. Is, uh, you know, how do I match up to that? How, you know, am, am I big enough, bold enough uh, to, to have that kind of assignment? Well, here's the thing I want you to understand. I want you to look at other people. I want you to look at Lady Gaga. What's her assignment, right? Yeah, I want you to look at Bono. What's his assignment? I want you to look at J.K. Rowling. What's her assignment? And you know what? Don't, assignments are not about judging and comparing with other people. It's about this process of unfolding. So you look at Gaga, who's just one of the most amazing, talented artists in the world. And you know what? Is she going to cure hunger? Probably not. Is she going to discover the cure for AIDS? Maybe not. But you know what? There's millions of 14-year-old girls right now who are watching her and they're tapping into their artistic side. And they're deciding they want to be a singer or they want to be a dancer or they want to be an actress. And you know what? Gaga is living her assignment and her assignment will change. Look at Bono, what he's done. I mean, here's a musician, and, but look what he's done for world hunger and Africa and AIDS. And he's, he's used his platform as a singer and his assignment has changed as it's gone around. Uh, J.K. Rowling, you know, okay, so she wrote uh, uh, some great books. The, the Harry Potter uh, series is one of my favorites of all time. I've read them all. Uh, she didn't cure cancer, but you know what? The person who cures cancer might be somebody who's 12 or 13 years old right now who's reading one of her books and that's what opened up their imagination and their creativity and got them going down the path and they'll become the person who cures cancer or AIDS or perfects uh, space travel or whatever. So, Embrace what your assignment is. Here's the questions that, that I'd ask. Last time we talked about this, you know, what makes you sad? What makes you, what do you love? What infuriates you? Those give you clues to what your assignment may be. And then once you think you've found your assignment, here's what may happen. It may really involve sacrifice. The universe may begin to test you. Other people may ridicule you or place obstacles in your way. So what happens if all of those things happen when you think you're on your, your assignment and then all of those things happen? The, you know, you have to sacrifice and there's difficulty and the universe tests you and people ridicule you. You know what I think that means? I think it means you found your assignment. So, think about that. Share me any thoughts you have in the comments below. Please share this with people that you know. Subscribe because next time we're going to come back and we're going to talk about how you harness the power of purpose. Until then, live rich. Thanks guys.